guys, good day viewers, how are you all doing? So today we have someone here with us. Uh, we have uh, Gideon, his name is Gideon, GKs. I'm a very, very fine auxiliary pianist. Right, so we will be having him on auxiliary this morning. So we have some questions to ask him on how Okay, so before we start, if you have not subscribed, please do that. Contribute to this channel by doing that, please. Please. Mm -hmm. God bless you. Okay, so let's start. Okay, so start Gideon. Good morning. All right. So as an auxiliary pianist, what is your take? Like, uh, who is an auxiliary pianist? Or okay. how can we just say, okay, this guy is an auxiliary pianist, not just a major pianist? You understand? Okay. So you just play. Can we just say, oh, okay, this guy is an auxiliary pianist? Can we just say that? Um, well, I, I believe that anybody, any pianist can be an auxiliary pianist. The only difference is that from the word auxiliary, which I believe means to help. So you are a helping pianist as an auxiliary pianist. So your role, your job as an auxiliary pianist is to complement the music, of course, you know, to add to add that special feel, feel that the main pianist may not be able to add. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, so I believe that's who generally an auxiliary pianist is. So anybody can play the ox piano, but it just depends on how well you have mastered that side of playing the piano wow. and your understanding of music generally. Wow, 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 wow. Thank you so very much for that. Thank you. Okay, so let's move to the next question because of time. Okay, so his role as an auxiliary pianist in a band or in a church. Okay, um, the role of an auxiliary pianist, like I've said earlier, is just to to help complement the music, to fill in the music, you know, to add that extra spice to that mm. space. Because there's always a space, of course, when there is just one pianist. Music, of course, is a language and. Um, there are a lot of things you can do to add color to music. So the role of an auxiliary pianist really is just to add color to the music. Of course, you know you are not out playing the main pianist, mm. and you know mm. you are not shining in the in, 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 in scope of shining. You are oh, just yes, 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 you know yes, making yeah. the music more colorful. Mm. So that's just the yeah. role of an auxiliary. Thanks for that, Mr. Gideon. Thanks for that. So, like as an auxiliary pianist, what is your approach to music or to a song? Okay. Um, my approach to music is I first listen okay. to the song in general. Okay. Um, then I try and look for the spaces that can be filled and what can be added to those spaces. Mm -hmm. That's my general approach to music. Mm -hmm. Of course, maybe because I do a little bit of music production too. Okay. So. That helps me, you know, like have an idea, okay, how do we, what do we add to this place? How much volume do we give what we are adding mm -hmm. to this place? Mm -hmm. So that it doesn't, you know, make the thing look so loud. Mm -hmm. and, because, of course, in this part of the world, <laughs> where we are, there are a lot of people that just want to, they just want to show, they just want to play, they just mm -hmm. want to shine, shine, you know, mm -hmm. make everybody tear shirts. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's the word. That's you the know, word. but the word. I believe that, like I said, music is a language, and it's like you are telling a story. So as you play, you are, you know, working towards a goal, and that's to allow people to enjoy the story you are telling with the music. So it's important that as you are playing, you are you understand the right um, sounds to use and how to blend them in. So that's my approach in general. Okay. So, wow. so we are still going there, like tones, the sounds to use, okay? So like selection of tones, <clears throat> you know sometimes uh, if you are playing something of slows, for example, like washing. Okay. So for example, if I am with strings here, with a piano, okay, what are you supposed to use there as an auxiliary pianist? Okay, as an auxiliary pianist, I, I can use... I can use a bell pad, for instance, to add 
add more color to it. Then I can use some scenes, scene leads, like um, um, soft R&B, oxygen, matrix, and some of those synth sounds. I can use some of that. Sometimes I can use um, like an ocarina under um, the flute sessions on of course if you're using the Yamaha board you see ocarina around the flute yeah, yeah. I think so we're around this place yeah around, around, around the flute section you see sometimes you can use a brass depending on what you are doing sound I'm using is called Matrix. Okay, Matrix. And it's under synth. It's a slow synth. Okay. Yeah, it's a synthesizer. Okay. Sure. okay. So if you don't want to use Matrix, can you use uh, Oxygen? Yes, I, I can use Oxygen instead of Matrix. They have okay. very similar sounds. Okay. Then there are some others. Then, for example, yes, I forgot to speak. For example, sometimes I do like a guitar okay like for uh, can, can you just play that same thing you were okay. playing i use like a jazz guitar come in yes. Sometimes yeah. I do that too, and that's a that's a jazz guitar. All I was just doing was just moving the modulation wheel okay. to add okay. that um, vibrato kind of effect. Okay. Okay. So the modulation wheel with a jazz uh, with guitar. a jazz guitar will add okay. the um, vibrato effect. Okay. Same okay. thing it does to a synth. When you use the modulation wheel, it adds the vibrato effect like. example let's come down to uh, Africa now like Nigeria for example so we have this uh, uh, this music called Aria Aria. Okay. <laughs> Aria so how do you like how do you approach Aria Aria as an Nigerian pianist well um, Aria Aria is a very rugged <laughs> style of music very <laughs> very if I if I would say if I put it that way, it's very rugged. So most of the time, what I do with Aria Aria is when the lead pianist is playing something like um, an e piano, okay, I just do an ocarina. That's what I do basically. Then I use it with the pitch bend. Is the way is the way I blend it in with the pitch bend. Okay, so let's. 
songs for example mm-hmm. um you would notice that they can have a guitar just play one note yes, almost yes, throughout the song throughout, and you yes, see like five yes. people playing the yes, guitar and you're exactly. wondering what how will five be? people play the guitar you know but then it all it all boils down to how you view music and mm-hmm. how you are able to think as a team and not as an individual mm-hmm. okay what can i do to add to the music that mm-hmm. is being played I believe that five people can even play the piano together mm-hmm. if they have an understanding of okay what can i do to come in since this person is doing this what can yes, i do yes. to add to what this person is doing yes, and yes. it won't be noisy okay do some crunching like that yeah okay thank you okay so uh one more to go like i like okay i like based our style of music and, uh, we have that around here also so let's do this simple progression that uh, we can all relate to it. Six, two, five. You can use any brass anyways, but it just depends on the one you feel is appropriate and is not too loud because if you look at brass as an instrument, it tends to be loud. Yes. yes. So you should know how to blend it in and not be too noisy. Just once in a while, just come in, you know, make it sweet. Let everybody feel the impact when you come in. Yeah. So okay, good. So what if we are playing a progression like Makosa also? Like um, Matrix has a softer sound and it's 
it has a, it has more of a soul sound. Mm -hmm. I always like adding soul to music, music. Mm -hmm. because of yeah. you know how I started soul out. Soulful musician. Yeah, <laughs> I was inspired by soulful musicians. Mm -hmm. So, wow. okay, so Matrix is under okay Saint and FX, right? Saint and FX. Okay, yeah. I think yeah, Saint and FX. Matrix um, and oxygen also you can oxygen find it is there too. Okay, good. All right. So uh, lastly, a group like funk, funk. So can you use organ? Can you use like? Uh, I almost forgot my organ. <laughs> okay. Sometimes when we are doing slow songs too, I use organ. Okay. I use organ. For um for a group like funk, yes. you can't you can't push an organ away, of course. Mm -hmm. Organ would add color to mm -hmm. whatever funky groove you are playing. Mm -hmm. Then, of course, my matrix to wow. So let's do a funk, and maybe you can just add organ. All right. Mm -hmm. Anyways, understood. <laughs> what's advice? Okay, my advice is listen to good music because mm -hmm. that's the first thing. If you can, one of my mentors would say, if you can hear well, you can play well. Wow, which is wow. the truth. Okay, if you can hear well, if you can, can hear well, you can well. play well. Wow, understand that? Because a lot of times we have gotten, especially in this part of the world, we have gotten too used to loud music, you know. Um, if you ask an average pianist in Nigeria how they started, they started with playing at weddings and functions and you know, it has, it has in a way blended us to noise. Well, if you want to really play good music, you need to listen to good music. And um, Personally, I've been inspired by, let me just mention one person, and he's a Nigerian. I've been inspired by Godwin Hillary. He was wow, playing. Wow, no, that, that guy he is, is very good when it comes to ox. ox. Yeah, and he plays, good. his piano playing too is very strong, although mm -hmm. he loves to do ox more. Mm -hmm. So if you listen to a Godwin Hillary, for example, your idea of playing the auxiliary piano will be very wide because mm -hmm. he does a lot of auxiliary piano work and he's sweet. He can use about 20 elements, but he will blend them in very well and they would really make sense. For someone that wants to be a major pianist now, I would advise in Nigeria here, you listen to people like um, Diplos, Adidayo Ajayi, The Elect, the elect. Yeah. you that's, understand? That's my mentor. <laughs> then um, um, Juicy Pro. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, those ones are... Don't fine and simple guy. Street <laughs> pianist, you understand? Street, so, yeah. But if you want to really go explore the world of auxiliary piano, Listen to a lot of Hughes play. He does a lot of stuff that are so sweet, and you know he's just sweet like that. Mm. So listen to good music, practice good music. That's another thing. Don't just when you want to practice, because I know that practicing sometimes for most. 
people, especially here in part in this part of the world, is um, only when there is choir rehearsals yeah, exactly. and something. Yeah, exactly. But practice good music. Learn to listen, listen to foreign songs. Listen to how they do things because it's quite different. Their approach is different. quite different. different. Listen to that, then see how you can bring that into the idea of what you already have. And you know, the most the most important um, advice I can give to young pianists like me is listen, listen. See, that's that's it. So it's you can old, hear well, you can, you can play, play well. well. Okay. So if you listen well, it will it will help your mind in adjusting to. Even other ways of doing things that you never thought. Wow, wow. Okay, so I almost forgot this. What was your role as an auxiliary pianist where there's a lead guitarist? Yes, that's another thing. So now we have a lead guitarist, and you know, a lot of lead guitarists these days they use um, effect pedals okay. where they have pitch harmonics and the likes. Mm -hmm. So if you are not careful, you make the music modeled up. So when you have a lead guitarist playing, and most pianists like to layer with a pad or a string. What you do, what I do majorly is I use a bell pad. Then I will tell the main pianist to um, drop his bell pad if he wants to layer it. Drop his bell pad, then I'll play the bell pad. Or sometimes I can tell the main pianist to just play piano while I do the I do the pad and bell pad. Then. Sometimes I still use my matrix, okay. yeah, but I blend it in carefully so that there's no noise because you know the lead guitarist will always want to solo. Mm, yes, that's yes. his that's his duty. So it's a solo instrument. So I make sure that what I do is I use I use uh, my matrix very well and carefully. Then I use that um, ocarina to but just carefully there's a way because if you listen to if you listen to the likes of like Tim Godfrey yes, yes. Minister Tim Godfrey or Dr. Tim Godfrey sorry oh, yeah. Dr. <laughs> Dr. Tim Godfrey if you listen to Dr. Tim Godfrey you see that even while worship is going on they use that ocarina gently yes, in the pitch bends yes, 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 but yes. it's just somewhere behind you understand so it just feels a little space there is not loud so that's how I that's how I play along with and understand that you don't have to touch the piano every time as an auxiliary pianist mm -hmm. sometimes just leave the piano and listen then look for a place to come in again come in, yeah, it's, you come understand in, go out. come in go out it's the main pianist that you know should stay fully fully yeah. but as an auxiliary pianist you don't have to touch the piano every time okay. just come in sometimes and leave it blank okay. wow 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 mm. Mm. wow wow so much this morning. Wow. Thank you so very much, Mr. Kieran, for that. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, I hope we still have you here some other time. No problem. We're really playing now, not to explain, not to talk, or really play. Okay. So nice having you around. Okay. So the last thing, uh, I just want to list. I wanted to list the poems. You understand? Again. So that they can take note of that. Okay. You understand? So we have uh, Ocarina, right? Yes, we have Ocarina. Okay. One. We have um, Matrix. Matrix, okay. which is under Synth, Synthesizers and FX. Okay. Then we have Brass, okay. Soft Brass. I used Soft Brass today. I used um, a Jazz Guitar under Guitar and Bass. Then um, I used the Marimba too. It's under Percussion oh, and yeah, Drum Kits. Yeah, I use the marimba too. And sometimes I do a violin, it's on that string. When you worship here, yes. I use violin. Yes, 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 yes. I use violin a lot. Yes. I use violin a lot. Yes. Okay. So, but um, sometimes I do I midi, I do midi. Um like using a virtual instrument from yes, yes, from the from my laptop, laptop yes. connected to this um, yeah, the keyboard. keyboard. So I just play black and white from the keyboard. The sound goes out from my laptop to the sound card, then to the uh, board, to the sound board. You understand? So I, I do that a lot. I have quite a number of I have quite a number of virtual instruments that I use. I use Impact um, Straw Violin, Impact Impact Soundworks Straw Violin. 
I use um, I have some synth packs that I use um, Omnisphere um, by Spectrasonics I use their synth pack too and you know Omnisphere alone is is a run to it's a very big so I, I use that too but majorly when I use the Yamaha board yeah, the things I look out for every time is my ocarina do I have my brass do I have my um, do I have my matrix you know those are the things I run to organ organ, okay, yeah. organ which of the organs I use rotary rotary I use okay. rotary organ okay rotary organ yes because rotary rotary has this um, harmon b3 effect if you, if you are familiar with the harmon b3 organ mm. the one that um, most people use abroad yes that, yes this black yeah, gospel you understand black, black gospel yes, guys yes. they use the harmon b3 organ so it has that kind of effect it has that kind of effect so wow. i use wow. that wow. so what is the name of your dog like uh daw okay i i use studio one majorly the one Personal studio one mm. that's the that's the door that i use yeah. majorly so what about fl but FL, because I, I think fl is kind of common yes fl is very common but while i was learning one way i just found myself very familiar to studio one i just found studio one like a very i use fl2 and occasionally i use logic um, logic pro I, I use logic pro too but majorly i use studio one that's what i use wow wow thank you so very much thank you thank you for, thank for, you for having me sir thank you so uh how can we reach you okay you? um you can reach me on instagram okay. at gideon Angela underscore underscore so don't worry it will flash on the screen because of that Angela. <laughs> sorry yeah so gideon Angela underscore underscore okay okay all right all right so if you have any question or anything please just drop them there on the comment section Mm -hmm. So we'll do well to attend to them. So if you still have any requests, please drop them off so we will attend to them. Thank you so very much. And again, if you have not subscribed, please do before you leave, contribute to the channel by doing that. Mm -hmm.